What's the crack? We're back again and anyway, exploring new wars. Oh, I love the rainy night. Such a wonderful sight. Deepest pool I've seen right in front of us and it's tiny. I'm hoping that there's something living down there in that fast water. Oh yes, I was right and anyway, happy days, tiny little brown. Oi, I'm out safely, happy days, we're getting back now, hopefully, and there he goes, he's off and he's ready, here he is here, look, he's in the current. Happy days, I've got one on the board, little fella. I knew there had to be something in that little fucking fast water. It's the deepest pool I've seen. So, yeah, small lads, sure, look what can you do? I knew there was something there, and just on the little jigs and the drops, and we were able to pull him on the way up. So, happy days. I always do try to prioritise wetting my hands, secondly, getting the fish off. Luckily enough today, it's wet enough that my hands are already wet, so handling the fish was no problem. Now, thirdly, not just to throw the fish back if you don't think it's ready to go. I think it's important that if you see a fish and you fought them or you have them a little bit longer out of water, the best thing to do is rest them in the water. He'll go off on his own stand then. Again, ultra light gear, single spit shot, warm, size A hook. Happy days. Yeah, you can go out and break your balls and try all sorts of fishing, but when you're exploring new waters, go with whatever you're most comfortable with. If you're most comfortable with a spinner, you're gonna catch more fish with a spinner. If you're more comfortable with a hook, you're gonna catch more fish with a hook. Now, those rocks are extra slippy. But, nothing to report. Well, you can see a tire up there. Put this down here. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get that steel stuff out. At least I can get the tire out. And I've left the river better this way than it was before. Oh, out there. If I'm walking by it again, I'll pull it up onto the side of the bank. There's snags sitting here. That's the best I can do. Ah, oh, you had a bite there. I can't see if he's hungry. That's a washing machine. You know, hoping to get in that out. Ah, uh, no warm left. Oh! I don't know what I'm at to stand on, but I'm at to hurt my ankle. This seems quite silty, but look. Oh, it's silty and smelly. Look, we said we were going to get this tire. So, nice, that's a good day. One fish and one tire. Access hasn't been great up to now. We're going to start fishing the holes that we think might have potential and just kind of through because the rain's really coming down now. Every hole has its go and anyway, so here's a nice one. Oh! Instant boy. Ah, oh, no one. Now, if we can get him again, be nice. What the fuck is that? It's like a muscle or something. Not much to fish. Right in between all the snags again. Sure, look. There's a bite. Oh, got the warm. Nice to get a second bite. Hopefully, we didn't miss our chance. That's a bite. Half a bite. Yep. Oh. Just give me a few taps. And the slow retreat. Oh. Yes. Lovely. Look at the hand. Right, he's only a small lad, but uh, he's gotten it a little bit deep, so what we're going to do is cut the line. Oh, get this little lad back. And he's gone. Happy days, two on the board and anyway. And sure, look, you have to make the best decision for the fish, and we had to cut that close just to get him away, happy and healthy, so. Whoa, I'm a fucking nuisance. That could have been a lot worse though. So, I'm thankful. That'll be it for today. Nice and short video. We went somewhere completely new. We didn't even know there was fish there, but we managed to find two. So, we had uh, two or three missed hookups as well. So, not to worry. We'll get them another time, but 
that's it for today hope you enjoyed it if you did leave us a like you know the jazz thanks very much